Amelia W. Insig. Welcome to today's demonstration on how to properly measure ingredients when baking. When you go to a restaurant and get your favorite items each and every time, and its consistency is good, it's no coincidence. In fact, the one preparing it for you has measured it accurately. When measuring, we need to use proper measuring tools for dry ingredients and of course for liquid ingredients. When measuring ingredients, we have here the flour, the brown sugar, and the salt. And of course, for the liquid ingredients, we will have the water. So, let's try to measure our dry ingredients, such as the flour. In most cake recipes, it calls for sifted flour. Okay? So you have to, in this case, sift flour to two to three times. So, you see, it's so easy. Sift flour two to three times. now for our second sift. As you can see, there were still little lumps, so we still have to try it for the third time. And for our last sift, It, as you can see, it is all clean. So, our flour now is ready for be measured. So this time, let's spoon the flour into the cup, overflowing, like this. Make sure the it will overflow and see level it off from the center level it off with a spatula or if you have any straight edge you can make use of it such as knife and now you have one cup sifted flour so we're done now with measuring our sifted flour. Now let's measure our salt using a tablespoon. Just scoop in your salt until it's heaping over just like this and level it off once again with a spatula. Okay. This is how it goes. So this is now how you're going to measure your one tablespoon of salt. And this time, let me show you how to measure one packed brown sugar. So all we need to do is to get a cup, one cup, and scoop the brown sugar into the cup until it tips over. Oh, to overflow. After that, you pack your brown sugar, press it down. Just until it will hold its Okay. 
So here's how to measure your one pack brown sugar. You'll be able to know if it is really packed if if you're going to transfer it into your plate, it will hold its shape. Let's see. Perfect. So this is now our one pack of brown sugar. So here's now our measured dry ingredients with our one cup of flour, one tablespoon of salt, and of course, our one pack of brown sugar. This time, let me show you how to measure liquid ingredients. So to measure any type of liquid ingredients, such as water, we will be using, of course, our liquid measuring cup. All we have to do is, Place the measuring cup on a flat surface, just like this, and pour out the liquid into the cup to the desired amount. Then lean over and view the liquid at eye level. If you follow this simple guideline, you too will be very grateful in your baking and cooking in favor. Good luck and thanks for watching.